So if you are transitioning from a smooth paper or you're wanting to, to try pastel mat, you haven't tried it before and you're wanting to try pastel mat and you're currently working on a smoother paper. So there are a few things that you have to take into account. The surface is different. OK, the surface of pastel mat is very different to the surface of say a hot press paper, so like a Fabriano Artistico hot press, uh, very different to something like a Bristol Smooth. This paper is, it feels fabricy. it's classed as abrasive, and because it's different, you need different techniques. If you come straight from your hot press paper and you use exactly the same techniques as your hot press paper onto the pastel mat, you're going to get frustrated and you're going to be disappointed. And I see that as one of the biggest reasons why artists don't like pastel mat is because they've come from a smooth paper and they're using exactly the same techniques. One of the things that you don't need to do on, on pastel mat is burnish. You don't need to use hard pressure. You don't need to burnish. Uh, burnishing means pressing hard and squashing all of the, um, the, the pigment into the tooth. But what you can do on pastel mat and what is one of the biggest techniques that I use to help with the graininess, because it is grainy, is using light over dark. So where you have, say, a... So say we've got this hat, for example, here. OK, so with a piece like this, you have your dark layer in first with the blue. Then you'll put a lighter colour in over the top, so something like a cold grey one, which seems very counterproductive because you put in a dark colour in, then you put in a light colour in, and of course your light colour is going to make your darker colour lighter. But the lighter colour smooths and blends the darker colour underneath. You don't have to use hard pressure, you just go in nice and gently. And that's how you build your layers up, light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, until you get to a point where you don't need to use the lighter colour to help smooth and blend. That is a particular technique that works brilliantly with pastel mat. Your piece is going to look grainy for a while. Uh, there's no getting away from that. Um, and if you can get over that and understand it's part of the process, then that, that's just wonderful. It is going to look grainy because it's a toothy surface. You put the pencil down, the pencil is, is you know, uh, basically dry. There's not a huge amount of pigment. So the layers are going to help build up the density of all of the colour and everything. And that is what is going to help you get over the graininess. The first layers that went down were very grainy. Then I bring lighter colours in over the top. Or for the background, I put lots and lots of layers in, lots of gentle layers in. When I say lots of layers, probably about five. And then I use a cotton bud, just a little tiny cotton bud. These are just Johnson's ones. And, you know, that's how you would do the background. Nice and smoothly. You don't need any pastels. You don't need anything. Um, you just need your nice pencils and cotton buds. And it works beautifully. Mm -hmm.